Welcome to a new episode of my High Performance Java Persistence video course. In this episode, we're going to talk about the bidirectional one to many JPA relationship. The many to one relationship is the most common JPA association and it maps exactly to the one to many table relationship. Just like the post common table has a foreign key relationship with the post table primary key, the post common entity contains a post property that is mapped as a many to one JPA association. To map a one-to-many table relationship on the child side of the object-oriented identity graph, you need to use the many-to-one annotation. You can also supply a join column annotation to specify the foreign key column. For this particular example, the join column can be omitted since, by default, Hibernate joins the name of the entity attribute with the identifier using an underscore sign. Now, when persisting one post command, which is associated to a given parent post entity, Hibernate generates the proper SQL insert statement. After loading a post command entity, if the post association is set to null, at flash time, Hibernate is going to generate an update SQL statement, which will set the underlying foreign key column to null. Also, if the post command entity is removed in the currently running persistence context, a delete statement is going to be generated. The many-to-one association is the most natural way of mapping a foreign key relationship and the automatically generated SQL statements are very efficient. As you will see for other JP associations, the more control a given association has over the underlying database relationship, the more efficient the association will be. While the one-to-many table relationship is represented by the presence of the foreign key column in the child table, the one-to-many JPA association is for the parent entity. In the parent entity class, the child entity is represented by a Java collection which stores all records belonging to this particular parent entity. Therefore, not only that it allows you to access the child entities from the parent object reference, but any collection state change can be translated into SQL statements, which simplifies the data access logic as well. The one-to-many JPA association can be either unidirectional, the parent site contains the child entity collection, while the child entity has no knowledge of this relationship, or bidirectional, the parent site contains the child entity collection, while on the child side there is a many-to-one association. First, let's discuss the bidirectional one-to-many association, since it is an extension of the already presented many-to-one JPA mapping. From an object-oriented perspective, the relationship looks like in the following class diagram. The post command has a reference to the post entity via the post property, while the post entity has a list of associated post command entities. Therefore, the association can be navigated in both directions. At the class level, the bidirectional one-to-many association requires a standard many-to-one JPA annotation mapping on the child side a one-to-many annotation mapping with the mapped by attribute on the parent side. The mapped by attribute tells Hibernate that the child side is in charge of handling this bidirectional association. Even if the child side is responsible for synchronizing the association state changes with the database, a bidirectional association must always have both sides in sync. It's common practice to have add remove utility methods on the parent entity so that the side synchronization logic is stored in one place instead of scattering it all over the data access logic. When persisting one post entity along with two associated post common child entities, because we declare the cascade attribute to cascade type all on the one-to-many annotation, Hibernate is going to execute one insert statement for the post table and two insert statements for the post comment table. Notice the use of the add comment utility method, which sets both sides of this bidirectional one to many JPA relationship. When removing a post comment entity from the comments collection in the parent post entity, because we set the orphan removal attribute to true on the one to many annotation, Hibernate is going to delete the associated post comment record. Notice the use of the remove comment utility method, which not only that it removes the post comment entity from the comments collection in the parent post entity, but it also sets to null the post property of the post comment child entity. 
If you like this video, you are going to love my high performance Java Persistence video course. For more details, go to my blog blogmihalcha.com and check out the courses page. If you're struggling with data access performance issues, this video course will teach you how to get the most out of JP and Hibernate. You can buy either the recorded online workshops or the video course lessons. You have unlimited access to the course material and 30 days money back guarantee. If you are curious what other people think about the video course lessons, then you should definitely read the testimonials I got from my students. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy running your data access layer at high speeds.